here we are, almost to uh, day 120. The results just keep happening. I just keep showing up in the gym. I've started increasing my calories. So it's been a couple weeks where I've been eating on average about 2,500 a day. And I've definitely noticed the, the difference in my overall, like I've gained speed, agility, endurance, all that stuff as far as measuring my time with my, my biking and of course my lifting and I'm gaining, my weight actually has stayed the same. So I, I can't really say that I'm gaining muscle per se, but maybe it's, it's the reduction of body fat and the muscle is getting stronger. I'm seeing more striations as I go, uh, but still waiting for some more weight gain, but I'm doing it in, in kind of a clean, a clean bulk kind of approach right now. So uh, I'm eating what I think is maybe close to or around maintenance. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to flex and move the phone at the same time, but I'm seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of changes. So we got our back going on here. <laughs> Ooh, let's do a couple of things here. So, momentarily, I'm gonna stop this little thing here. I've, <laughs> because it's become profitable again, I know you can't see that well, maybe if I turn this off for a second. Uh, I decided to use my laptop and my desktop and just uh, mining a little bit of Ethereum, just for fun. Um, you know, hey, whatever. But I need to, uh, give me just a sec here. Just turn this on um, auto fan just while we're doing this video. Let this catch up. Probably should have started this sooner. Come on now. So the fans aren't going like full, full crazy. Okay, I'm gonna let that kind of chill for a minute. Let's get this light going. There we go. Let's test the light. Looking good. Good enough. There we go. So today, um, just an update, I guess, in the last two days, still moving forward. Um, I've been taking the last couple of days as kind of a, um, a rest, mainly because like, uh, I think my last vlog, I was talking about momentum and I still feel, I still feel good. We're actually just now approaching day 30. We're approaching our fit test. Um, just I've designed for myself and my schedule. I haven't quite figured out the distances yet. I'm working on it. I'll let you know when I when I solidify that. Uh, I'm trying to line it up for tomorrow. I'm just really hoping, I, I actually ordered, I was recommended a pair of shoes, running shoes, because I don't have, I've got like old shoes that are just no good for running. Um, I've run twice the last two weeks, but I just, they're not really great for it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna cause injury over time from just really poor shoes. So I'm just working on form and not necessarily long distance. But anyway, long story short, I was recommended some shoes. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, I'll share them when I get them. But anyway, long story short, um, you know, I've got a lot of friends in reselling. So I actually wonder if I bought from someone that I know, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But I went on eBay and I found uh, the brand and there's a bunch of different years, a bunch of different versions. And I kind of settled on reading a lot of reviews on the nine. I wish I could remember exactly what they're called. I, I can tell you when I, when I get them, I'll share them. But people settled on the nine. The nine is an older generation, we're up to 11 now. So what I did was I went and I found um, on eBay a really lightly used like pictures and stuff so you can see that it's not too wore out. Probably somebody ran a few miles in them and then that was about it. Maybe they ended at a Goodwill, I don't know. Um, doesn't really concern me, so I'm gonna try them out for basically half the price. Try out uh, the brand name shoe that is pretty much brand new, just slightly worn. So I'll show them and kind of talk about whether it was a good deal or a bad deal um, in the future here. Uh, it's a well-known, well, well-established well seller with 100% positive feedback. So other people have bought, like that's what they do, shoes. So I was like, that's cool. A lot of, they sell you shoes, probably from like Goodwill and stuff and great reviews. So I was like, okay, I'll go for it. Give it a shot, see what happens, half the price. And uh, hopefully it'll help me. Anyway, I wanted to get those. Those are supposed to arrive on the 13th. 
I have my fit test scheduled on the 12th, which includes running. I'm doing basically a triathlon style fit test, which is gonna be a swim, a bike, and a run back to back to back. Not crazy distance, not even a sprint triathlon. I'm doing this more as a, uh, a fit test. So long story short though, like the last two days, um, I've gotten a little bit lazier on that. I still have that momentum, but here's what happened is uh, two days ago, not yesterday, the day before I had leg day. And like I've been turning up the heat as we go forward here, as the weeks go by, it's almost like it hasn't been 30 days yet. I think we're on day like 27 today of our kind of getting back to our schedule. The muscle memory is just blowing my mind, like how quickly my body is reestablishing itself. Though the upper body, I need to do more work because I'm still just like I'm lifting as heavy as I was when I basically stopped in like March 2020-ish. But I, um, I'm not feeling a sore. I'm still not hitting, like I'm burning out in the workouts. But So I need to work more on that. But what I did was with my legs, like I've been turning up heat over time, not doing too crazy. I'm not trying to push like too far into, uh, uh, into my max, but I've been pushing it further and further. And last week I did legs and I, I really focused on going deeper. Basically just did some uh, weighted lunges, step ups more or less, or like a lunge, reverse lunge with a step up, really focusing on the quad, uh, bent over deadlifts, uh, stiff leg deadlifts and uh, basically goblet squats more or less. And I destroyed my quads. So like right now they, they're just, they're both like from basically the kneecap all the way up to the hip, like the quads just feel like they got punched um, in a great way, like that really good soreness way. But anyway, so because I've been so sore, I've actually been sleeping more. I took two naps uh, the last couple afternoons just because I'm trying to focus on recovery. Um, my mind keeps telling me like, I wanna go, I, like today I would love to go to the gym and just hit like a total body or like really pound the upper body. But what I'm trying to do is rest myself up until um, my two days here, up until we get to the fit test. I wanna be as fresh as I can be. So yesterday was just, I did P90X2 core and that was it. Um, I actually slept in the afternoon, got a lot of sleep last night, sleep the night before. Um, I'm slipping into, not even because I want to, it's just happening. Like I'm, I'm all of a sudden in a schedule now that I'm, I'm basically disciplining my life. It's just, it's weird how it happens, like getting into a rhythm. Um, I'm still staying up way past the sun, of course, which I mean, I would do. Sun goes down at like seven now, it's really early. But I'm going to sleep somewhere between like 10 and midnight. Recently, last couple nights, like 10 to 11 and getting up at like somewhere between four and six. Like this morning was past six. Like I slept a lot last night. I needed it. I was just sore, just done. I could feel it. my body was just like, okay, like I, I did work. So the last two days I've been dragging a little bit, hence like no vlogs or anything. Um, that's why I wanted to get it done this morning. I'm getting back to my disciplines because I've been a little, because of being sore and being slow, kind of going through sludge the last couple of days, I feel uh, like I've been really good on the nutrition. So that's, that's going well. Um, just a little behind on things. So today I'm just making sure to reestablish that before we slip too far. Um, and as I talked about before, and when I had like, I was feeling really good before I beat myself up, uh, the momentum, um, I still feel that, but there's times when it gets tougher, especially when you do a really crazy workout and you're, you're suffering from the DOMS, the delayed onset muscle soreness days later, uh, makes it harder to move and be excited. Uh, once you get moving and stuff, it's fine. It's just once you like, when you're cold and you're sitting still and your muscles are tight, uh, that's when it really hurts. It's like now I'm sitting, as soon as I stand up, my legs are gonna be tight, but as soon as I start moving, we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on this because I don't have much time on the card anyway. I have some video I shot in 2019. It's where I was, but I wanna share it with you because I, I talked a little bit in it, but it was just some bathroom stuff with my phone, but basically it just shows my results at about day, uh, close to day 120, somewhere between 90, 120, four months into what I was doing in 2019. And basically that's where I'm headed to now. That's the goal of what I'm working towards achieving now. I'm somewhere in between at this point. Um, I'll show you as we go forward kind of where I got to-ish in 2020 um, when I fell off. I didn't get like the peak of when I was like the most off course, but close enough. So I'll show you, I got like a just a standard bathroom picture or whatever. So you can just kind of get a general idea. And uh, I'm gonna start taking pictures here soon by day 30 so I can watch the progress as it happens and share it with you. So you can see kind of what I'm doing and decide if it's for you and maybe just do your journey, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like the whole point here is just to share the journey, show you what's, what I'm doing, what's working for me and maybe different ways or motivation or different things that you can use in your life. I don't know, um, I'm just sharing the journey. So I'm gonna, um, 
I'll share that video with you. The, I talked when I was showing kind of the, I did a front and then I showed my back, but uh, it's exciting to me because I look at it and I'm like, okay, that's, that's basically where I want to be like body fat percentage right now once I get towards March. Like that's the goal. And then over time, I'd like to develop more muscle. Um, the thing I'm going to focus on, I think the most this time as far as muscular development is I don't really have big traps, never really had, but I want to work more on the upper back, upper shoulders, um, not necessarily upper shoulders, more like just, just the whole trap. Um, I'm going to give that a shot, do some more focused work on that over a few months and see what happens, see if I can build the traps up a little. All right, so until next time.